GOP presidential candidates are making their final pushes ahead of the primary season. Businessman Vivek Ramaswamy is campaigning in Iowa today. He said fellow candidate Nikki Haley would not serve in his administration. Meanwhile, the former South Carolina governor is starting a three-day lag in New Hampshire tonight. The Iowa caucuses are January 15th, less than three weeks away now, and the New Hampshire primary is about a month away. CBS News campaign reporter Jake Rosen joins us now from Manchester, New Hampshire, with more on all of this. So, Jake, I want to start with asking about Ramaswamy. He says he's going to be stopping all TV ads before the primaries. What's the strategy there? Well, you're right, Chanel. So the thing with Vivek Ramaswamy, he's had an unconventional campaign since the beginning, and this ad development is just the latest step in that. After spending some time up here in New Hampshire and in Iowa, he's fully rebased most of his campaign to Iowa, and been do he's been doing five to eight or nine even events a day. Now, this campaign pivot for him with ads really comes as crunch time approaches, like you said. They're focused on mailers, face-to-face -face interactions, door knocking. A source told me that while this is unconventional, they're really focused on meeting younger voters who want, will caucus for them or they're hoping to caucus for them in Iowa where they are, which is on their phones. So that's mm -hmm. ads on social media. That's you know phone calls, texts, anything they, they can do to meet these younger voters who they hope to turn out exactly where they are. So Nikki Haley is gaining on former President Trump in New Hampshire polling. What do you expect to hear from her over the next couple of days? Well, Nikki Haley is expected to speak up in, in the North Country here in New Hampshire. I think the big thing right now is after she's been endorsed by Governor Chris Sununu in the state, she, you know, she's making her return back to the state after that big momentous moment for her campaign. But whether she criticizes the former president and takes some bigger punches up at him remains to be seen. I think the big thing to focus on is whether she can do that and what line she toes with the message up here. New Hampshire has 40 percent independent voters, so she needs some of those people who are in favor of former President Trump who are independents and those people who are opposed to former President Trump who are independents to really build that non-Trump coalition that so far she's done a pretty good job of doing. According to our latest CBS poll, she was in second in the state with a, a hearty lead ahead of Governor Ron DeSantis and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie in the state. Yeah, so let me ask just with 30 seconds on the clock here, Jake, um, about former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. You know, he's been focusing so much of his run on New Hampshire. Where does his campaign stand right now? Well, Chris Christie needs to keep putting all of his marbles in the New Hampshire basket. And really the big thing for him is showing up meeting voters, shaking hands, and, you know, convincing them that Nikki Haley is not the right option for these people looking for a non-Trump vote. You know, she, he really needs to keep pounding that away. He's got town halls tomorrow night and also Friday morning and more to come in the new year with the full court press, his staff was telling me, once we hit the new year. Okay, Jake Rosen, thanks so much.